Hey everybody, it's uh, Doug Rebel Music here on Facebook or F.U. Bilderberg here on YouTube. Just want to talk to everyone today about, of course, you know, the, the topic that I love, consciousness evolution, being the change you wish to see in the world, and uh, upping your vibration, you know, upgrading your vibration, making it higher. Alright, so, you know, I like to talk about food and its impact and water on its impact on uh, consciousness evolution if you will so I'm just showing everyone the garden here today uh, just gonna walk around and show you all these all these other living plants that inhabit the same property as I okay I'll just be showing you the plants as I walk around and I'm just gonna give you a quick little little philosophy and then uh, be on my way a couple minute vid here all right so the first thing I just want to mention is living in balance, of course. Remember that uh, you want to be halfway left brain, which is, in, in terms of enlightenment, seeking enlightenment, you want to be half left, left brain, which is strict discipline. Okay, so half yin, and then the yang, which would be the, you know, the other dragon, which is creative, innovative, but mainly what it is is it's the mind of a child. It's pursuing your highest excitement. It's knowing that you're pursuing your highest excitement. It's not thinking about it. It's just knowing. It's knowing like a child does. Like, this is my high ex highest excitement. Like, Daddy, I want ice cream. I want ice cream. I want ice cream. Well, that's what the kid wants. And if you really love it, like if that's your favorite food, even if it isn't that healthy for you, it's going to up your vibration because it's going to bring you joy. Okay? So that's what I'm talking about here. You want to be half on that completely mind of the child, you know, totally in touch with your true self and your inner child, and um, you just want to be pursuing that highest excitement. And the other is that strict discipline. You know, there there's discipline. We all know. I, I don't even think I need to mention discipline. I mean, there's so much. You need so much discipline from when you go food shopping uh, to when you know all the ego tests and all the challenges that we're faced with in life. We always need discipline and patience to uh, deal with these problems. Now remember, every single problem is an opportunity. We, in our society, we're negative, we're like uh, narcissistic, half the time, most sociopath, like sadomasochistic, but no. What it, what it truly, truly is about is being, being that change and seeing every single problem as an opportunity for personal growth, okay? It's imagine the star of David, the seal of Solomon, okay? And it has the two the two triangles, one's facing upwards and the other's facing downwards. So the one facing downwards is how people in our society normally look at a problem. Okay? It's like, you know, Life presents you with a beautiful opportunity for you to expand your view on the world, to expand your consciousness, for you to evolve, and you and you start complaining like, "Oh my God, this isn't fair!" Like, I don't know why this happens to me, and it always comes down to this happens to me, this happens to me, this happens to me. But when we start to understand the principles of causality and how nothing happens to you, you are creating it all. Um, your whole external perception, your whole external reality is all based off of your inner perceptions and what's going on inside of you and you're projecting that out. So then you're not coming from a state of balance or a state of love and you're projecting out this bad stuff and then you're complaining about, you know, why is it bothering me? You know, why is all this stuff happening to me? And uh, quite literally, it's not happening to you. You're basically happening to it. You're creating it. But life keeps giving you these opportunities to say, hey, you know, wake up to this. And then once you finally do, you can start to get on the path of seeing these problems, these conflicts as an opportunity to grow. Like I said, the downward facing triangle is how we view it. You need to look at it as the upward facing triangle, which is like the uh, consciousness evolution way to look at it. Whereas you see the opportunity in it and you see the positive in it. And then uh, you take that you take that in and uh, you allow yourself to grow because of it. That's that's truly like the, the mystic way, the way the shamans would look at it. Okay. I mean, I apologize too. I, I don't have the greatest garden here. It's here at my grandmother's house. But um, 
right now if anyone could post too I'm still trying to figure out how to make uh, slideshows on YouTube so I can make that with my video next time uh, but yeah it's not, it's not the worst garden little of uh, Pennsylvania suburbs Philadelphia suburbs nature here so I, I got a couple more points here too I, I hope uh, hope some people enjoy this I've talked in uh, previous in my previous videos uh, you can see the yin yang you can see I kind of go into that a little bit more and then the peaceful revolution talk about that uh, it's called yin yang peaceful revolution and then also there's a lot more food tips in there about upping your vibration and stuff like that and uh, detoxing from alcohol so you can see that in there under my uploads okay uh, so what else can we talk about here I'm just going off the top of my head um, okay another huge one is everyone wants to fight the new world order well since there are no external enemies then you, you really get into eventually you'll realize that you're only fighting yourself you start to carry this fearful vibration because uh, the whole truth movement is basically fraternal and uh, co-intel and it's all fear mongers believe me I, I fell down those rabbit holes so I'm saying it's not fighting the new world order not fighting the NWO it's all about entering the NOW so think about that and that's gonna be the title of this video it's not about fighting anything it's not about the NWO it's about the NOW enter the now realize that you are in this you're in the Garden of Eden I know it doesn't look like that right now but this is the Garden of Eden Eden the only reason why it doesn't look like the Garden of Eden because one we got so many rules you see that stop sign right there that hexagonal demonic uh, symbolism actually but now th the true reason is is because this is the collective awareness of humanity this is our collective consciousness right now and um, that's what what's happened to this uh, Garden of Eden and I feel like we can get back get it back for sure all we need is this uh, consciousness evolution and uh, being truly being the change you wish to see in the world the more we up our vibration drink cleaner water eat healthier organic uh, locally grazed food um, stuff that's easy like li liquid raw uh, fruits and vegetables stuff that you can eat have lots of energy still with you know not like meat where it takes days and days to process and you're all clogged up you really just want that energy to flow through you you want that life force in you and um, you know I, I had a dream last night and the fruits and vegetables those fruits it was like grapes and berries and they're dancing around on the table in front of me and I go to reach for them and they kind of play games on me and like they'd all go to one side and make these formations and dance away from me when I try to grab them and it's just showing me that you know these fruits and vegetables are living singing and just because uh, we don't necessarily see them that way I mean these are physical this is life force energy so it's about that it's about eating uh, sea algae blue green uh, mountain algaes and uh, chlorilla and spirulina and it's about uh, detoxing and getting probiotics drinking uh, kombucha that's uh, it's a great drink for everyone by the way K O M B U C H A look that up that's a great uh, detoxing raw live organic uh, probiotic uh, drink energy drink energy drink really okay so then you're doing all these different things you're starting to live a more organic lifestyle more spiritual more centered and uh, then we're really upping our vibration all these things do it I'd love for people to throw more recommendations out you know how to up your vibration uh, you can also see my video on uh, organite I talk about that as a way you know detoxing from the chemtrails so there are suggestions to physically be the change you wish to see in the world we're not just talking about it we're taking personal action and saying hey you know I'm making these changes so then people don't just look at us as, oh, you know, that's just someone that talks about the New World Order and he's some kook. No, I mean, you're making all these positive life changes. Uh, you can find new spiritual philosophy that works for you or whatever it is. Um, it's truly about following that inner intuition, getting in touch with that intuition, um, having empathy and compassion for all uh, sovereign, sentient beings. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to mention here. Um, it really, really, sh basically it for now. Uh, I feel like there was uh, one more thing. If you just stick with me here, of course, you know, going raw is, is a huge thing. You know, having that life force energy in you. Uh, a lot of people really benefit from that. 
I'm not sure if you want to go completely raw at all like that. You got to look into, do your own research, of course. Um, but that that's a big thing. Is uh, so you, so you're not your body's not spending all its time on processing meats and and cooked foods and all these uh, lower vibrational foods. Instead, you're you're investing these uh, organic fruits and vegetables into your system and um, then you, you truly are what you eat and then you're carrying a much higher vibration and another huge thing is getting the right amount of sleep uh, paying attention to your dreams okay these are uh, these are big things 